Okay, so now let's do a quick tour of this RGB network. So I got a bunch of new stuff and I kind of want to document how I have it all put together. So, it starts off with the computer. On the computer I'm running Red Rama. I have this little RS-485 dongle, but it's not doing anything right now because I don't have any of my Lightorama controllers hooked up. There's a bunch of Lightorama controllers over there, but they're easy. I'm focusing on the RGB stuff. So, the way I'm connected by RGB is just simply with an Ethernet cable. So I've configured my computer to have an IP address of 192.168.1.200 and this Ethernet cable comes over to here to this little switch. And this is a little, I think I paid maybe 15 bucks for this at Altex. Um, and by the way, if you really, the, you know, the person who's really good at this is Clyde Lindsay. Uh, with this Lichberg lights. He has some great videos on this stuff. So this is a little bit amateur. So I got my Ethernet cable coming over here to my switch. And then this yellow cable is another Ethernet connection coming to my bridge. All right. And my bridge has an IP address of 192.168.1.209. And what it does is the computer will send information and I have it set up for this dumb network here. It's going to send all the data over Ethernet using a protocol called E131, which is DMX over Ethernet. So what happens is this little box takes it off the Ethernet, takes the DMX information, and sends it out through one of four ports. I'm using the second output port, which I've configured to Universe 51. Okay, so I have to tell Lightorama everything for Universe 51 send it to this device here, which it does via multicast. So it doesn't really need to know the IP address, but I need to know it to configure it. So anyway, coming off of here is I have this cable. It actually came with the universe, I mean with the uh, DMX bridge. And I have it come into this 18-port um, controller. So it comes in here, and then I have another one and another one. So what I do is I have it come in here, and on these boards are really great. These you can either come in with XLR, uh, three core XLR, or you can go out via uh, Cat5. So I just use these cables. So I come in XLR, and then I go out Cat5, come in XLR, out Cat5, and then XL in XLR. Uh, but you could do it all XLR or all Cat5, but you can mix and match it. Really flexible boards. Okay, now the boards have no idea what universe they're in. Okay, these dip switches tell it what channels to start at. So right now I have this one set for one. Okay, that's dip switch one. Okay, and it's 18 channels. So it's going to use channels one all the way through, what is it, 19. Okay, and these guys are just basically, you know, red, red, green, blue for the colors, and then the other wire is for voltage, and I have that hooked up to these dumb nodes. Now, they're not dumb, I mean, they're nice, but we call them dumb nodes because when you change color, they all change to the same color. You can't control them individually like you do pixels. Flip these over to get some more color. Okay. Uh, so I have reels, I got some rectangular nodes, these are some icicle lights, those are some uh, 12 millimeter nodes, then I got some square ones, some more rectangular ones. Basically these, this is all the dumb nodes that I have so for, for testing out. <clears throat> so this first board, it's the first one on the chain, and it doesn't matter what order it's in. What matters is, is that these channels line up and then I don't confuse it by using the wrong channels on these. So I'm going to do it contiguously. So this one's going to use 1 through 19. And then this one, I have this one to start up. Actually, this uses 1 through 18, and this one starts at 19. So if I want to figure out the dip switch setting, I need to put 19 in binary. Or you can go down and download a nice little app where you can put in 19 and it will automatically show you dip, the dip switch settings. Basically does a 
decimal to binary conversion for you. And then you just set the dip switch settings to match, and off you go. Now, if you set dip switch 10, then the dip switches all have a different meaning, because you can set it to channels between 1 and 512. Um, so the last dip switch 10 will put these into a demo mode or test mode, which I actually did earlier today to just to test out all my lights and all the uh, ports on these boards. Okay, so this goes to 19. Now, and now I need to, and this uses 27 channels, right? So then I was like, okay, so then I say, well, now what's the next channel over here? Well, if you do the math, it is channel 46. So if I come over here and I look at the dip switch settings, I just make those dip switch settings match these dip switch settings. And this app, if you just search for dip switches on on uh, whatever store you use, you'll find what you need. This one is called DMX Dip. So, so that's how it's configured. Now, each one of these boards, I, I use all 12 volt stuff. Okay, so each these boards are 12 volt boards, um, and then I have the power running back to this. So each one has two positives, two negatives, and I run them all back to this one power supply. This is a 350 watt power supply, and I think it's around 20 amps. Um, altogether, this power supply is only working at 65 watts for all of this stuff. Okay. So that's my dumb universe. This is all in one universe. Now I could have up to four universes off of this guy, but for the time being, I don't need it. Now, my computer's talking E131 to this guy. It's also talking E131 to this guy, which is a SAN device E682, and another SAN device E682. Now these are different. These controllers are dumb RGB controllers. These are smart pixel controllers. So the Ethernet comes in here. It has a bunch of fuses. Again, another 350 watt power supply it comes in, and then these go out to my various pixel strings. Okay, and for now, I just have the two wreaths set up. So that's essentially my network. I got three. I sent. I have two different networks. I have my Lightorama network, which I don't have anything hooked up on, and then I have my E131 Ethernet network, one of which is going to here. So I have three devices hanging off of E131. I have the bridge, and then I have two SAN devices, um, E682 controllers. Now off of the, the bridge, I have three dumb controllers, and they're controlling the lights. So that's, uh, that's that. So what we'll do next is we will fire up a sequence so we can see what it all looks like. Let me see. Just double check anything I'm missing. Nope. Okay. Okay. So now I got all my cool dumb controllers and I want to set them up so I can run them out of light aroma. So first of all, you got to be running the advanced version in order to do DMX. You want to make sure that you have under preference, under edit preferences, DMX preference that you allow DMX editing right there. And then also under network preferences, you need to tell it where to go. So I am connecting over that DMX bridge. So this is my DMX bridge. It has a web interface and I have these various outputs. Now just for fun, I'm going to be going over this output, output number two. So it's going to go from my computer over Ethernet talking E131, which is DMX over Ethernet to the DMX bridge via multicast and it is going to send stuff on universe 51. It'll go out of the adult on port 2 and at that point there's no more universe information it's just looking at channels and those devices should pick up their associated channels. So I need to tell Lightorama about the bridge. I need to tell it that um, what to do for universe 51. So I come down here and you can see I've already been playing with it. And I'm going to use E131 multicast. That's it. I click OK. Alright, so now it knows that Network 51 is, or Universe 51 is for, is to be sent to that bridge. 
Okay, so now I need to go create some channels. So I'm just going to add some in here quickly. So I'm going to insert multiple RGB channels below. How many RGB channels? Well, I have two nine channels. So there are 27 channels on the one dumb controller, but you divide that by three and that's nine RGB channels. So I have two of those, that's 18, plus another six, that's 24. Whammo, there's my 24 channels. So I come in here, I get to configure this one, and we'll say this uh, start. And then I'm just doing this for, I wouldn't really name something like this. This is for so the dumb six. Device type is DMX. Universe is 51 channels, one through three. And now I do that again. DMX, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven clicks. You know what? I think that's good enough because I don't think I have that to ma many devices attached. We can just pretend I did the other ones. So now I need to put some channels on there. Uh, I got 24 channels here. I'm going to be really lazy. What I'm going to do? So I'm just going to go to my mega wreath. I'm going to grab the first 24 channels here. Sure. 